inappropriate wedding cake toppers. Yes. This is an awesome story. Um, but I think it's a little unfair to women. I'm sure our audience will disagree with me. But <laughs> let's start off with the first uh, couch potato cake topper. Okay. So This, this one's unfair to the men, right? right? Unfair <laughs> and totally true. <laughs> okay. Now, look, there's different cases, et cetera, and a lot of times the guy's anal and the girl's sitting on the couch. But a majority of the time, that sounds about right. But I like, so there's a lot that I like about the story. One, this is much more interesting cake topper than the, you know, the guy and the girl just standing like this. So people are having fun. I like that they're doing it. I like that they're having fun too. Although I can't remember the last time I was at a wedding that had a cake that had a cake topper. Like oh, that's who, a good who, point. who uses cake toppers these days? It's surprising because the rest of the weddings are so cliched that I'm surprised that they don't do, do this. Every wedding I go, oh, you got the cake together. Oh, on the face. Oh, and everybody does the obligatory laugh. I'm like. Have you not seen this 38 times in a row? What's funny today about this? Anyway, look, there's a serious point in this cake toppers, believe it or not. Uh -huh. But there's, let's keep uh, going through them. Okay, this is the one that gets on my nerves, right? Of course it does. No, but here's why it gets on my nerves, right? Because almost every guy I encounter says like, ah, the old ball and shame. <laughs> then, then you know what? No one put a gun to your head and said, marry her. Mm -hmm. You don't have to marry her. You don't need to have a ball and chain. Like, if you have such a negative view of marriage, just don't get married. Why is it so difficult? Oh, yeah, yeah. Easy for you to say. And then she will manipulate us and, you know. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, I, I love, so you guys are so weak-minded that you're easily manipulated? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, no, it's just, you know, you, whatever. You're evil. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're evil warlock, uh, or it would be a witch, actually. I, I would be the warlock. Uh, it's too manipulative, and I can't. No, look, it, the reality is, yeah, of course, there's a lot that we like about marriage. Right. But the downside is that we can't have sex with other girls. We like to bitch about that. Can you just give us a little bit of space? Not, no, not <laughs> even a little bit. I mean, come on. Is she supposed to be uh, uh, Katniss Everdeen with the bow and arrow? I guess so. From the Hunger Games. Yeah, this is how they drag us into marriage. Can you believe it? You know, I, I think in the majority of engagements, it usually consists of men proposing to women. Mm -hmm. Proposing to women because they want to marry them. That's because we've been manipulated into doing it. <laughs> okay, that. next one. Let's go okay. to the next one. <laughs> well, this one turns the idea around just a little bit because she's catching him. Right. It's the other one she's dragging or she's weighing down, but this makes the guy seem more like more of a catch, although he also seems to be trying to run away. <laughs> Maybe they already had sex, so. <laughs> Okay, of course. <laughs> We're familiar like, with are this you, theme. Are you, yeah, yeah. It's like a, a you know ongoing theme. Okay, this one. <laughs> I actually look. This one makes me laugh because it's Lego. So you have like the little Lego cake topper, right. and uh, he looks so happy, but he doesn't know what's coming. <laughs> well, that's and uh, this is also the most malicious one because she actually has a knife and is actually <laughs> going to do him real damage. But in some ways, is the most amusing one. I agree. <laughs> I want to help the Lego man and say, "Come, watch out." Now here, the woman is trying to run away. You see that? Okay, are you happy now, Miss Feminist? Yeah, okay, okay. I, feel, I feel a little better that out of the 15 that we've showed you, uh, one of them is the woman trying okay. to run the second one. Okay, now, so let's get to the serious point here, right? So now, this is the second one where the woman is trying to run away and the guy's trying to drag her into the marriage, but that's part of the reason that they don't do this as much, because when a guy does it, it looks kind of scary. Do you see what I'm saying? It looks like that there's going to be something terrible that is about to happen. You're not even sure that's the groom. Right, and he has that creepy smile on his face, and I totally get that. But how come it's always the woman who's the ball and chain? Sometimes I feel like the man is the ball and chain. Oh, really? Well, you didn't have to get married. Why did you agree to it? <laughs> you know, sometimes the woman wants to go wild. Uh -huh. But she can't because she's married. She's got to raise the kid. She's got to breastfeed. She's got to do this. She's got to cook. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Right? As you would say. <laughs> As I would say. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hear you. But you see that since the man is in a position of power, it's in some ways easier to make fun of him. Mm -hmm. And in some ways, you're making fun of the guy when you say that, oh, he, you know, he was manipulated by the girl into getting married, or that he's weighed down, or he's trying to run away, etc. This, you're, when the guy who is more powerful is dragging you into it, it's not funny. It's it's like almost weirdly malicious. Like you're worried for that girl. It looks Do you see like what he's I'm saying? going to assault her, sexually right. assault her. So yeah, I totally get that. Um, but whatever, look, we're so, having a conversation about cake toppers. So. No, no, this is very important. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the whole country depends on this conversation. No, but my point is that sometimes it looks like it, they're 
you know, ragging on girls there and, and women, but in a lot of times they're actually making fun of guys. I don't, I don't see it that way. I think that women always look like they're the naggers, like I said, the ball and chain, the person who kind of destroys your youth and your happiness. And I'm so... <laughs> like, I, I think you're going a little farther, but okay. But I think, I, I think people, a lot of men complain about marriage for that reason. Like, uh -huh. they feel like they're being controlled or whatever. But it's your fault for getting into that marriage if she is controlling you, right? But in an ironic way, now you, like, se seem like you're bullying the guy again. Like, it's your fault. If you don't want to get married, why'd you get married? Okay. I, oh, I, that, I actually come on, love we're that having one. fun. I we're love having that fun. One. And kind now of we're <laughs> actually having fun. You know the sick part about that wedding topper uh -huh. is that I'm actually slightly turned on by it. <laughs>